Hello everyone, we have an always popular video here, an FPV loitering munition strike on a Russian vehicle. This time the target is a tank, a T-72B3 to be exact, and as we can see in this video, the munition hits it right from behind. An excellent shot. We've seen these loitering drones used a lot lately, and they work well. For starters, they're cheap and quick to produce. Ukraine has shown some of its stockpile of them. Over 400 were seen in just one building. Secondly, they're small and extremely difficult to detect and intercept, causing Russia the same problems that the Lancers do to Ukraine. Third, these are extremely manoeuvrable. Manoeuvrability is where these have an advantage over the Lancers. So let's check out where this took place. So this took place here. The T-72 was in Marinka, and it's sad to see what's happened to the city. It's been absolutely obliterated by Russia. You can see the extent of the damage just by comparing the Google Maps image to what we saw in the video. Zoomed out, we can see its location is to the west of Donetsk. And as we can see here, this is very close to the front line, an area of very high activity at the moment, with Russia attempting to push west. Here, Vulodar, Bakhmut and Kremina are the main areas of activity at the moment. So this tank was a T-72B3. Russia has, according to Oryx, lost 292 of these. But we've also lost 3 of the 2014B3 variant and 206 of the 2016 variant. Overall, they have a massive 997 T-72 tanks listed on Oryx of all variants. Very close to that magic number of 1000. Though the true number will have exceeded 1,000 already, as not every loss is documented. This one may not be added as we don't know if it was destroyed or not, but it must certainly have been damaged. Russia had 2,030 T-72s officially listed as active in February last year. 840 were the B3 variants. So half of their active T-72 fleet is gone. They supposedly had around 7,000 in reserve according to the military balance but a good number of those are likely fit for nothing more than being an immobile lump of scrap metal. We have no idea really how many of those T-72s in reserve are actually operational ready and fit for purpose. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.